Hi, I'm AJ from Edimo Electric Bikes, and this is the new advanced gravel bike, a carbon fiber dream machine. Dan's not with us today because he's put me in charge of this because it's pretty much my favorite bike at the moment. Full carbon fiber, lovely wheel set, lovely group set, and it just rides like a dream. So Advanced are a German brand. Um, they've been going for 13 years set up by a couple of guys who were mates who liked bikes and wanted to keep people active. They are a sustainable business, like many German businesses and like other brands that we sell, but they've come up with an excellent product here. It really is something special. They've integrated the Bosch 400 watt hour power tube into the down tube. Uh, they've got the new Bosch SX motor. It's the lightweight motor from Bosch, so it's 55 Newton meters. Um, but if you spin your legs at 100 RPM, you still get 600 watts from this. But most of the time with this bike, it's so light you're pedaling over the assistance level, which for me is, is fantastic. I want to ride my bike like a normal bike. But can you blast up the hills? Absolutely. This bike's gonna to appeal to the sportier rider out there. Uh, if you can pedal fast, you're still gonna get the power up hills. You're gonna fly up hills very, very quickly. So going from top to bottom on this bike, with the drop handlebar setup, which is 5,199 pounds, you get the SRAM Apex wireless electronic shifting, which you can probably, just about here, very, very quiet. Now this is very clever, it's a coded, Bluetooth connection between the shifters and the rear derailleur. Um, and the rear derailleur, you can probably see just here, has a battery built into the back. That is rechargeable. Then you have button cell batteries in the shifters, which only need changing, dependent on use, once every six months, maybe every 12 months if you're not using the bike um, frequently. Fantastic way to build a bike. There's no cables running through this frame at all. The only hoses you have are the brake hoses. Obviously you've got a brake hose runs from uh, the right hand lever in the UK um, down to the front brake caliper. And the, the hose runs through the frame here, all very cleverly hidden, integrated, um, very clean lines, um, but just keeps the bike really clean and tidy. The shifting is fantastic. It shifts very quickly. Um, there's no delay when you change gear. It comes with the SRAM Apex brake caliper, which you can see here. It's obviously disc brakes. You wouldn't have anything else on a gravel bike. So you know the power, the modulation that these give you and the stopping power and the wet. With the force group set that you get on the slightly higher spec model, the basic difference is weight. It's a little bit pricier, but if you wanna save a bit of weight, save a few hundred grams and you've got the money, I would say, yeah, go with the extra spec. So this bike comes with the Rapid Red 500 fulcrum wheels. They've got fantastically smooth sealed cartridge bearings. They're nice, strong wheels. With the slightly more expensive option, which is 6399, which comes with the SRAM Force Group set, which is the major, the major extra cost there, you get the fulcrum 300 wheel set, which is just gonna be that little bit lighter, a little bit less rotational mass. All the bikes come with these amazing Continental tires. Uh, these are Terra Trails. They're 40 millimeters and they're nice knobbly. I don't know if you can see there, um, but they're nice knobbly tires, but the center tread pattern is nice and close together. So they're gonna roll really well on the road as well. So as an all-terrain tire, you can still use these for commuting. You, obviously you can put slicks on them, 40 mil. Might even squeeze a 50 mil tire on there if you really want some fat tires. It is designed to carry lots of luggage, so you can get bags to bolt onto the front here. And obviously you've got four lugs on each side, which means that you can adjust the height of the bags that you've selected. You can use frame bags. So I think you've got three lugs here to mount a, a lovely large frame bag. Bottle mounts, so you can still have bottle cages. 
and they're also little lugs around the back end so you can mount a mud guard um, and there's a lug on the front here so you can mount a little clip on mud guard it just means you're not going to get sprayed in the face when you're riding through the mud so on this bike we've put some crank brothers stamp one pedals on these uh, they're really nice i actually use them myself uh, i use the slightly larger size they come in two different sizes this is small medium and they've got the larger pedal platform um, which i really like uh, watch the spikes though because i did cut my leg open quite badly the other day putting the bike in the van um, which is a bit stupid uh, and they're really really grippy um, essentially that's why you want the pin pedals um, but they're lovely they're lovely pedals that we spec on lots of our bikes we've also got and you probably can't see this but hopefully we'll do a close-up later you've got the bosch mini wireless remote system um, again that's got a little button cell battery in it it's going to last for several months before that needs changing um, to turn your bike on you simply press the little button in the middle um, and all the lights come on and the motor makes a little noise um, so with the wireless remote you can power up the bike so obviously going into higher power mode so you've got turbo sport mode which is called sprint mode on this which is a new programming which means that if you pedal at 100 rpm you get 600 watts of power going uphill you've got let me get this right not tour mode automatic mode programmed on this bike you can have tour mode um, or tour plus i believe but automatic mode for me is going to give you all the power you need it's going to adapt to your power requirements um, shifting down you get eco mode and then if you want to turn it off and ride unassisted and save your battery which you can on this bike uh, you can turn the bike off you can change power modes on the unit down here uh, so moving up power modes you simply click it once to move down you press and hold and that's going to shift down the power modes you've also got walk function so you've got walk assist on this bike i don't know why you'd need it because it's so light um, and also there's a button to turn your lights on and off which is your power button you just press and hold obviously this bike doesn't have lights um, what you can do is you can link this wirelessly through bluetooth to your phone and you can mount your phone onto the stem uh, or perhaps a handlebar using a quad lock or, or a similar product, SP Connect maybe. Um, and then you can have a full display. You can use full mapping using the Bosch Flow app and you can obviously modify power modes and things while you're riding. Uh, you will have a touch screen on there as well, which is really nice. I like to ride bikes, whether they're powered or unpowered. But this bike's fantastic because if you do run out of energy, do run out of, out of battery power, you can still ride this bike all day long. It's so light. It is, however, compatible with the Bosch Powermore battery pack. So you can plug uh, a range extender into this, but you can plug it in here and you can mount the, the bottle battery down here and it will give you an extra 250 watt hours of battery. So if you think you're going to need more energy more riding time more assistance and ride in higher power modes that's going to give you a maximum of 650 watt hours so that's good for 65 miles in eco mode the main reason i really love this bike is the ride quality for me i'm not really that bothered about colors it comes in a lovely blue it comes in a lovely cream it comes in this is pine so a lovely green and a lovely black um sort of a sort of grayish black color all the colours are beautiful, but I don't really care. Um, what I really care about with my bikes is the ride quality. This bike is fantastic because they've built a really stiff frame. You need a stiff frame with carbon fibre. Some brands, they come up with e-bikes, and the problem with them is the frames are so flexible and there's so much power, there's so many forces involved when, when this big motor is turning um, that they just can't handle the amount of power also they can be very uncomfortable so some frames are quite uncomfortable aluminium frames tend to give you a little bit more road buzz so you've got to build in a bit more comfort in other areas this is carbon fiber so they've built in fantastic comfort but also a really stiff frame which handles all those forces all those loads there's a powerful enough motor 55 newton meters of torque 600 watts and there's a 400 watt hour battery but most of the time with this bike it's so light you're pedaling over the assistance level which for me is, is fantastic. I want to ride my bike like a normal bike, but can you blast up the hills? Absolutely.
This bike is so fast. Absolutely smooths over the gravel. Flies through the grass. So much fun. This bike's amazing. As I say, I love the ride quality and that's the most important thing for me, but it comes with a 30 year frame warranty. It also comes, and I think this is industry leading, with a four year Bosch warranty, which is absolutely fantastic. If anything goes wrong with your Bosch, very unlikely that it will, but if there's any corrosion of cables, things like that, then those cables will get replaced for free. If the motor fails within four years, you get a free replacement motor. Again, the same with the battery. So the warranty on this bike is fantastic. 30 year frame warranty, any breakages from normal use, uh, that is gonna be covered. So this particular model, which is our current demo bike, it's a medium sized frame. Um, it's 5,199 pounds. The flat bar version is 4,399, which I wouldn't talk you out of. If you're mainly using this for commuting, flat bar might be a better option for you. There is a, a higher spec option, which is the SRAM Force group set option with the slightly lighter rapid red fulcrum wheels, the 300s. These are the 500s. I think for 6399, I still think that's fantastic value. Um, I think this mid range one, I think that's what most people will go for. But if you want me to talk you through the specs more, please come down to the shop and I'm hopelessly enthusiastic about it and I'll probably talk, talk your ear off, but come down, have a test ride and the bike will sell itself.